Use like this what makes a hard day on the trail perfect. Welcome back everybody. We are in the Big South Fork again. Love it down here. Decided to come back for an awesome three day trip. We're gonna have three days, 50 miles on the John Muir Trail. Oh, so excited. We're gonna see all sorts of waterfalls, beautiful vistas. We're even gonna be on the Sheltoe Trace again for a while. So we'll see you down the trail. All right, right off the bat, a beautiful creek. And guess what? <laughs> the trail's over there. So I guess I'm gonna start the day off with some wet feet. Well, I've encountered my first hiccup. Right up there is where the trail is. And there used to be a bridge that connected right there, but Apparently, uh, <laughs> the water was a little high because there's the bridge. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so nervous about a trail until now. <laughs> right as I cross that bridge, I come to this. Man, that is creepy. I have to admit, I am creeped out. Oh, look at that tree. Must have been there from flooding, or is that a, a beam of some sort? I don't know, but man, this is really creepy. Oh, man, that's some really gooey clay. And out the other side. <laughs> well, that looks like a dog, but that looks like a bear. That's pretty big. That's as big as my foot. I was warned that the uh, bear activity was high right now. Well, I'll be sure to be safe and uh, make plenty of noise as I go down the trail. <laughs> yeah. Made it to my first sign of the trip, about two miles in. I've been on the Rock Creek Loop to start. And I'm finally seeing signs that actually tell me I'm on the John Muir Trail. Oddly enough, I keep seeing signs that to go back where I started and to go that way for the Sheltoe Trace. I know that's not the Sheltoe Trace. That must be the uh, the original terminus, maybe. Is that cool or what? It's just a ridge of boulders going straight up the hill. It's hard to see it from here, but it's just like a a train of rocks. <laughs> that's wild. Pretty sure there's a good reason why they call this Rock Creek. <laughs> there are these giant boulders, and it's kind of hard to see through the tree, but man, these boulders along the side of the creek are as big as a house. These are the blazes I'm watching for, and I'll explain it later when I get to lunch, but this is a very old Sheltoe Trace uh, blaze. Pretty cool to see them still out here. Okay, let me explain the Sheltoe Trace again. That direction's where I came from. That's towards Pickett State Park and uh, the beginning of the John Muir Trail. But uh, you notice it tells you to go in three different directions, left or right, that way. You see it up there with the, with the diamond. But uh, anywho, 
this is where it splits off and that used to be towards the old original terminus in uh, Pickett State Park so that's kind of cool to be able to do a bit of the original trail at the southern end but here we are Well, I made it to Divide Road. That's uh, one section down. I uh, finished the Rock Creek section with a nice 600 foot climb right out up a mountain. Starting to get sprinkled on a little bit. That's okay, it feels good. Uh, but that makes me at a little over seven miles in on a 17 mile day. So I think I'm gonna try and get a raincoat on maybe and uh, push a little further before I get to lunch. So we'll see you down the trail. Weather well, can't make up its mind. Instead of getting my coat out and sweating to death, I'll just use the umbrella for a while. And uh, as soon as this blows over, I'll uh, stop and take a lunch. But uh, so far, trail's easy right now. And uh, even though it's a little sprinkle, it ain't ruining my day. Feels great. <laughs> I remember this cave from the Sheltovi last year. <laughs> Man, it's deep back there. It just goes on and on. I'd uh, go check out whatever that is way back there, but I remember last time that it's all mud. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay out, enjoy it, and motor on. Views like this what makes a hard day on the trail perfect. <laughs> oh, absolutely beautiful. Right, that view was absolutely amazing. So the uh, clouds behind it didn't look so well. <laughs> And uh, I can hear some rumble in the background. So I've got about three miles to camp. And I think I need to hustle. <laughs> so we uh, might take a break from filming for a while and hightail it to camp. So we'll see you there. All right, well, we finally made it to camp. The thunderstorm did not hold up. <laughs> I think about a half an hour after I left that uh, vista, oh man, the heavens opened up, but I stayed dry. That's the important part. <laughs> so we got uh, camp set up. I'm starving and uh, I'm ready for bed. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Man, last night. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness I got to camp before it rained because, man, after dinner and I got ready for bed, 
heavens opened up and it rained all night last night so everything is soaked oh man but hey getting ready for another great day i'm gonna try and do another 17 miles uh i think i got about five more miles to station camp so i'll see the uh cumberland river along the way after that it's one big climb and then uh road or uh, ridge walking for the rest of the day so Anyway, uh, our goal today is hopefully to get to Falls Branch, which is where I camp for the first time on the Sheltoe on my through hike. Uh, depending on the time, I might go a little further and uh, get past Leatherwood Ford. But anyway, uh, it's a soggy morning, but hey, we're outside and we're not at work. So having a great day. See you down the trail. Made it down to the uh, Big South Fork River. I've been calling it the Cumberland River all weekend, but anyway, I'd like to get down to it, but it's so overgrown and the trail's covered in debris from spring floods that that's about as close as I'm gonna get. When you get down to it, the uh, rock boulders are just massive. But uh, anyway, Hopefully this afternoon we'll get a better view from the sky. Here's evidence of this spring's flood. That is the sketchiest bridge crossing I've ever taken. Little trail update. Finally starting to break off from the Sheltoe and uh, get away from the river. And man, I'm glad to get away from the river. That was the toughest three miles I've done. I mean, Flooded trail, uh, flood debris, you know, from the river, mud, ugh, spiders every 30 seconds, ugh. I don't know how many spider webs I've eaten, and you can tell from my legs that, you know, it was muddy. So, anyway, getting ready to uh, break off, cross Station Camp Creek, I think and then uh, a big, big climb up the mountain. Another sketchy bridge crossing. Hopefully <laughs> it's good. Because that's not promising. Whew. It is shaky and I'm not liking it. That creek is beautiful though. Hmm. All right, let's get off this bridge. Lord. Yuck. Oh. All right. Thank goodness. Made it. Second snake for the day. Almost stepped on it. Whew. Boy, doesn't that look precarious. <laughs> wow. Been hitting a lot of blowdowns the past hundred yards or so but that does not look healthy that's not good this is what I've been talking about blowdowns these storms have wrecked part of this trail I hope the camera does this justice because this is a really cool rock shelter That is wild looking. <laughs> Jeez. Give you a little lunchtime uh, trail update. A little over uh, nine and a half miles in, and uh, I think it's just after 
1, 1.30. So doing uh, really good despite all the uh, flooded trails this morning. But as soon as I uh, climbed the mountain, I was able to move, uh, make up some time because the trails up here are smooth and flat and just fast. <laughs> so I got my first uh, uh, preview of what's to come later this afternoon with the uh, overlooks over the river. So I'm excited to see that. And then uh, after that, it's a steep descent back towards the river for camp. So um, a little halfway there. Depends on how I feel later this afternoon. I might even push a little further. So um, I guess it's just to see how things go. Anyway, I uh, found a little trickle of a stream up here. I started to run out of water. So I figured I better stop when I found it. So anyway, all rested up, full of food. It's time to hit trail. Stumbled upon that one. He didn't like me. Let's give him some room. Check that out. A bee tree. <laughs> Looks like they're doing uh, their orientation flights right now. I like to call it the afternoon rush. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Been waiting for this all day. Ooh, watch your step. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Look at this view. There's the big South Fork. If you can hear that, that's not wind. That's the rapids down there. That is the coolest. Angels Falls overlook was definitely the highlight of this trip so far. <laughs> that was absolutely breathtaking. All right, so we need to uh, catch up back with the uh, Sheltoe Trace and uh, get down the mountain and find me a camp because my feet are killing me and uh, I'm starving. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you at camp. And as soon as you drop below the overlook, 
it's like you're in a whole nother world <laughs> oh man it's like a rainforest down here I think I found part of the Death Star <laughs> man that's one huge boulder and it is facing straight down the mountain <laughs> I'd hate to be here when that thing finally falls Right, made it to camp. I'm at Falls Branch Creek. This is the same place that I uh, camped for the first night last year on my uh, through hike at Shultoe. And man, does it bring back memories. Cause man, that day we were super beat. And today, <laughs> ain't no different. My feet are killing me and I am starving. Oh man, this morning's uh, flooded trails mud and just all kinds of yuck <laughs> uh, made it rough at the beginning but uh, getting on top of the mountain and seeing all those wonderful views made it all worthwhile so I'm gonna end tonight here and uh, get something to eat and we'll see you in the morning for the last leg last 17 miles and trust me it's a pretty 17 miles all right see you in the morning Check that out. That is cool. I remember this. This chamber has a wicked echo. Echo! <laughs> I'm such a child. Get up here so I can see it better. Illegal campfire ring or something there. That's wild looking. Huh. Man. Someone had a pretty cool setup. A fire ring. And then a row of benches. It's wild. And please folks, don't ever build a fire under a, a rock shelter. You uh cover it in soot. Man, it's wild. Just after the falls, it's one of my favorite spots on the Shultoe. It is the uh, infamous tunnel that uh, <laughs> the folks that I met last month were talking about. Pretty cool. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can get through here. little lunch update i think i'm about nine miles in so that means like about eight miles to the end i'm getting super excited that last section the honey creek section oh it's probably one of the prettiest sections of the chateauwee and the john muir trail so uh if you're ever down here in the big south fork i highly suggest you come down here and do the honey creek loop because uh, i only did half of it it's part of the trail but if the other half is as good as the one I saw, then it's definitely a must-see. So, anyway, rested up next to this little creek. Got some water. Got some lunch. And I'm ready to pound out this last eight miles and get her done. <laughs> I'll see you down the trail. Oh, yeah. Almost there. <laughs> Getting excited. All right, I did it. 50 miles in three days on the John Muir Trail in Big South Fork, Tennessee. Oh, what a wonderful trip it was all the way from Pickett State Park to the Burnt Mill Bridge. Man, I had a blast. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And of course, send me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part is. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow me along on all my awesome adventures. All right, folks. Well, this one's in the books. <laughs> oh, I had a great time. So until next time, I'll see you on the next one. And always don't forget to support your local beekeeper. <laughs>